Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Guys, we are so close to 3,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all the support. And let me know what you guys think about my channel right in the comment section. So Chris Ryan from The Ringer said, They can't keep getting away with it. Jaquez is the latest example of the Miami Heat's ability to hit the lottery outside of the lottery. This might be sacrilegious, but there's some mini dirk to his game, which is rooted in incredibly polished footwork. Now, I don't know about a uh, mini dirk, but yes, he has impeccable footwork. Once again, that's something that you just can't teach overnight. He's put in a lot of work, a lot of dedication for him to look as comfortable as he is out there smooth game, smooth turnaround shot, very athletic, playing the passing lanes, making the right passes. He's a rookie. He's going to make mistakes. I think he's the rookie of the year. He's impacting winning on a very high level. His IQ is up there. And these are all things that you can't teach. You know, this is all the stuff that's instilled with him along with the hard work and dedication. I tell people all the time, you can have all the talent in the world, but if your game cannot translate from college to the NBA, if your game is not smooth, if you're not comfortable out there, if the game doesn't come to you naturally, you might have a hard time in the NBA, especially if you don't go to the right system. I think the Miami Heat are continuing to maximize him. If he looks like this now, can you imagine him at the end of the season with more reps, more time, more game time experience, you know, with him guarding some of the best players, which is huge. Jaime Hawkins is here to terrorize the Celtics and the Bucks and the 76ers for the years to come. So overall, the Miami Heat have been doing a phenomenal job with their draft. You know, they've been getting Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, uh, Jovic, which he's still on the back burner at 20 years old with a bunch of potential 6'10", versatile. He's finally improving on his rebounding. He's an all-around great three-point shooter, a good scorer. We're just really trying to focus on him and pretty much retool him up to make him into a functional NBA player. But overall... Jaime Hawkins Jr. is my rookie of the year. They won't let him win it. Why? Because we're the Miami Heat and they worship Victor Wembanyama. I don't get it, but he is my rookie of the year. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.